Hey everyone, it's James Bowerman with the Real Creative Group of Douglas Realty, and this is your October 2021 real estate market update for Anne Arundel County. Now let's get started and dive into the numbers, starting with coming soon. So currently there's about 113 homes coming soon on the market. They'll be here in the next 21 days or less. And actually this is a decrease. It's about 40 homes less than what we saw this time last month. Next. Let's take a look at active homes. Currently about 878 homes, currently for sale on the market. You can go in, you can tour these properties, you can make offers. Overall, this is down only about 20 homes from what we saw last month, but it is actually about a 12% decrease compared to this time last year. Okay, next let's take a look at homes that are under contract. These homes are not available to tour. Somebody's already put a contract on them and the seller accepted it. Right now we have 1,580 homes currently pending in Anne Arundel County, which is down about a 6% decrease compared to last month, but compared to last year, it's actually about the same. All right, take a look at September last month. There was 1,049 homes that actually closed. These homes sold, and it wasn't a significant change from the previous month, but compared to September of last year, it was about a 7% decrease when 1,131 homes were sold. Now, when it comes to months of inventory, I'm really beating this to death that it hasn't changed. It's less than a month, it's like 0.8, meaning if no new homes came on the market, theoretically, all the remaining inventory would be sold within the next month. All right, when it comes to time on market, we have been seeing an increase. This is the third month in a row where the days on market has increased. Right now, we're averaging about 18 days on market. Again, this means things are slowing and there's more opportunities out there for buyers, which I'll talk about in my closing thoughts. All right, let's take a look at the home values now. So along with increased days on market, we are seeing more price decreases. So the average sales price did drop down last month to about $489,000. Now homes are still selling pretty much where they're listing at, at 100.6%. So still good news for sellers there although we are seeing those price decreases. Now, compared to last year, this is about a 2% increase. So we still have that appreciation where last year at this time, we were averaging around $479,000 for a home sale in Anne Arundel County. Now I did mention price reductions and I wanna point out that there was about 219 homes that did reduce their price in the last 30 days. Now, when you look at the active listings, that's a pretty significant chunk at about 25%. So a quarter of all the homes on the market had to do a price reduction in the last 30 days. All right, now for my closing thoughts. So we've officially entered the third quarter of 2021 and with the fall season comes cooler temperatures and a slowing real estate market. That's no surprise. That's pretty much every single year we see that cyclical nature. However, we are still in a very hot real estate market compared to years over time where inventory is still very low homes are still selling you know in a couple of weeks and the interest rates are at record lows below three percent a lot of homeowners are sitting on a ton of equity and you know, the average increase even over the last year has been about 20 percent so even you know homeowners who went into forbearance and haven't been paying their mortgage could still likely sell their homes because of that appreciated of value and not have to go and worry about being in foreclosure. So still a lot of opportunities there for sellers to take advantage of this market. So although some homeowners may be settling in for the winter, there's still a significant amount of buyers who are out there looking to move, looking to take advantage of the equity they built up in their current home and wanna put that into a, a larger or a different home, be able to take advantage, put that towards their down payment, their closing costs, um, and then be able to lock in a really low interest rate to get an affordable monthly payment on their mortgage. So that said too, on the other side, if you don't have an interest rate below four, below 3%, you should definitely reach out. I can connect you with a great local lender and we'll talk about refinancing. So if you're planning on staying in your home, you could refinance. A lot of times those closing costs go right into, so you don't have to pay anything um, to, to close on the refinance and you can get a lower monthly payment and also take advantage of skipping a payment say in December when you might need some extra money to put towards Christmas gifts. That's always a great opportunity as well. So if you're not planning on staying in the house, it might not make sense. In that case, we should think about you know when your timeline is to move because you're not going to fully realize 
the savings on that by you know selling in the next six months to a year so anyway guys i hope this was helpful uh kind of give you an idea on where we're at in the real estate market still a really good time to buy or sell getting into an area of the our time of the year where competition is a little bit less but lots to take advantage of so thanks everybody for watching i really appreciate it if you have any questions leave a comment below and i'll definitely get back to you until next time have a great halloween and i'll see you in november